Alex. Um, so yeah, I'm from Atlanta. My name is Chandler, like the show Friends. Um, I'm really bummed out because tomorrow is Father's Day, which really sucks for me because I can't use the whole like, oh, my presence is your present anymore because my dad lives seven hours away. And my mom, um, she actually didn't really enjoy the whole dumping Gatorade from a cooler on her head because she's a real MVP this year, so I'm all out of the gift ideas. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's amazing how we live in this country where moms and dads get their very own day and sharks get a week. That's pretty incredible, and I'm proud to be an American just because of that. <laughs> um, but, you know, here in America, we're also very charitable. We do a lot of incredible things for people in America. Uh, like, we, we do charities, and we do 5Ks for people who have type 2 diabetes. When in fact, the 5K itself is the cure for type 2 diabetes. <laughs> like, that was the emptiest track I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> um, I recently went home for my little brother's high school graduation. Uh, and I realized, sitting in the auditorium, that seeing your old teachers is a lot like seeing them one night. It's like, do I wave? Do you, I pretend not to see you? Do you regret it too? Uh, I know one teacher in particular that, that regrets it is my geometry teacher because it never started off well. You know, I thought shapes were stupid. She thought I was stupid. Um, it got to the point where one day I just decided I could do my homework again. And she said, you know, Miss Barbie, where's your homework? Well, uh, I think I left it on your husband's nightstand table. <laughs> Me and the principal had a good laugh about that one. Uh, and, and finally, she just got really fed up with me, and she was like, where do you think you'll ever succeed in life with C's and D's? And I said, well, you know, hooters? <laughs> That's a good one, right? Um, I recently self-diagnosed myself with high um, I know that I'm a hypochondriac, but I think it's because my brain doesn't work. Uh, Web MD is to blame for this because I can get on there thinking I have a mild cold and leave convinced I have prostate cancer. <laughs> I recently went to the doctor with my friend Amy and I didn't even make it about myself. I, uh, I did, but, but, but then after the appointment was over, I was like, you know, doctor, I, I have concerns of my own. Um, I've been spending a lot of time with Amy here, and I just really need to know is like what she has contagious because I can't handle it. And he looked at me and said, "No, Chandler, she's pregnant." <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know, right? Um, I just moved here from Atlanta, and I've noticed that New Orleans is a lot different. Like homeless people here are a lot different than Atlanta. In Atlanta. A white girl walking down the street, you gotta be very careful. You gotta be on your game, you gotta be tough, because when people approach you and they're like, hey girl, what's up? You gotta be like, hey, back up, I got shit to do. And they're like, oh, little mama got shit to do, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna back up. But here, it's more like I'm walking down the street, and they're like, oh girl, you are so beautiful. I almost dropped my toy just looking at you. And I was like, keep it coming, come on. <laughs>
I like to make car alarm noises when people I don't like touch me. <laughs> and I approach everyone with, well, 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 isn't it the person who didn't like my Instagram photo? <laughs> uh, and it's okay. I, I, I've accepted it, you know. Um, I'm not saying I'm a bad person. I am saying that there's a special place in hell for me. And it's called the throne. <laughs> because at this point, you know, all your opinions to me are like orgasms. Meaning, mine's more important.